Well Danny, 3-0 defeat at uh, Bamber Bridge. Was it a case of them taking their chances and us not? Yeah, that's it. Don't know how many chances we have in the first half. And, uh, don't score. Goals we conceded are absolutely criminal. Absolute criminal, all three of them. Um, so, so, so frustrating. Because I don't think we're doing ourselves anywhere near the justice we should be in this league. I think right now, I just, it's frustrating me, Steve, because I think Saturday shows what we can do. We'll come here, and I just thought that we just took a backward step. We just took a backward step, and, and we weren't on the front foot. Things we spoke about, how we felt we could hurt them. And we just don't take our chances when we come along. Um, even the second half, we huffed and we puffed, we have one with Davs. Davs got a score. Um, can't go through one on one and just not hit the target. It's, it's, it's really frustrating to me at the moment. Is it the fact that uh, you know the constant changing of the team to no, that's nobody's excuse. fault? No, that's um, an excuse. It's an excuse. Otherwise, I would run with 16 players. Yeah. Um, that's not an excuse. You can't tell me that 10 players there aren't good enough. I thought Connor Hamill was excellent today when he came on and he waited his, his turn. And um, he done really well. I thought Kieran Casson again. I, I am denied about whether I could play Cass again. Um, just his, his fitness levels aren't quite there, but Cass shows how important he is for us. And if we're going to be successful this season, we need a, a fit here in Cass. And um, Connor covering every blade of grass again. He's in absolutely turmoil in there with his, with his back. But he's got through another 90 minutes, two in three days is, is what yeah. he's about. Uh, but I thought well, there wasn't enough positives for me today, Steve. I thought, I thought we were. Uh, it's pretty even, you know. He yeah, well, that's, that's, their goal uh, yeah just, but it's, 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 a chance. it's not that. It's, I felt we took a backward step against them. But, and, and that's really frustrating for me. Like, talk about my, my older pros and I thought some of them were bullied today. I did. I was really disappointed. I thought that there was opportunities there to go and stamp your mark on the game and things like that. And we never turned up. So you're but, looking at uh, the likes of Stafford and, and Bamber Bridge. Are you thinking, well, these are the teams we should be taking points of rather than the Max and the Radcliffe? These are the teams we're going to compete with at the moment. We've, we've rolled them over here. We're 3-0 down at half time. The game's, barring a miracle, the game's done. We can't keep being three goals down. And the goals are absolutely criminal. Absolute criminal, the goals we've conceded. First goal, a little bit of movement peels off. Through on goal, scores. Second goal, walks through. Look, defending was... His schoolboy stuff for defenders. We didn't move our feet. We didn't try and show them somewhere. We just bit of sympathy for the third one, unlucky. Oh, it's it's take responsibility. The ball's it's it, 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 it's coming at knee height at the front post. Go and take responsibility. Stop waiting for someone else to take responsibility. Right. It, it's 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 be a man. Something we spoke about is be a man. Step up. And if you have to go and put your head in where it hurts, you have to put your head in where it hurts. They're throwing bodies on the line in the last minute. Everything desperate to keep a clean sheet. It's great. I mean, people can say all the one about our football style and oh, it's, it, can we do it at this level? We've not conceded a goal yet that came from us playing out from the back. Yeah. Our yeah. goals that we've conceded are down to individuals not taking responsibility and doing their jobs properly. That's where the goals have come from, and that's a frustrating side for me because I know I know what I've got in that dressing room, and I know they're not showing on a consistent basis yet that we're more than enough to say. At the moment, we're talking about staying in this league, yeah, yeah. And, and for me, that's absolutely ridiculous. And that's no disrespect to anybody, but I know what quality we've got in that dressing room. Now, I've given the boys an excuse for the last four weeks that the Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Monday schedules taken its toll. It's the same for every team. Yeah. Every team's got a Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Monday game, so it, it can't just. It's not just us. Yes, it probably affects us as much as some of the teams because we have to miss the likes of today. We have to miss Dan Wordsworth, Scotty Allison's. You have to change it up a little bit. Just, it's so frustrating for me at the moment. It's so frustrating because right now I see a team that needs a bit more belief in themselves, and when they do that, I know they're more than a match for anybody in this league. And a bad afternoon compounded by yet another injury. I know you won't uh, offer that as an excuse, but it isn't helping the situation. No, it's not helping. Look, I mean, you look at our injury list now. Obviously, today we're missing um, Dan Wordsworth, Scotty Allison, Eddie Roxburgh, Bobby Carroll. Uh, 
Is there any news on the progress? Bobby, Bobby doesn't look good at the moment. Um, he's going to go for a scan this week and we're just praying that the results are good. Um, Aidy's making good progress. He should only be another a week or so away. Scott Yal, it's again, he just after the game, he just sort of he's, he's feeling it again. So we've got to shut him down again. Dan Wordsworth the same. Connor will have to shut Connor down completely this week because he's done two ninety minutes in three days. It's, it's too much for him, but he needs most of the moment. And so it's been, uh, a bit um, dodgy for Taylor to play. No, uh, no Taylor, Taylor's hamstring doesn't look good. No. So again, that's one that obviously Blackpool will assess and let us know. Um, What's the situation with Kofi regarding the cup match? We do, we're waiting for clearance from both players and we've got both clubs in at the moment, we're both happy. So, um, look, we, we, we'll be, I'm, I'm worried I'm frustrated. I'm far from worried. I know what I've got in this dressing room, I know what personalities we've got, but at the moment I think last year boys turned up and expected to win. We have to work for it now. We, ha we have to work for it. And, I don't think, I think on Saturday, I can't remember Sam and Goose losing a header on Saturday to the bar the goal. Yeah. Uh, and today I, don't, I can't remember who's winning the header. And that's the, that's the flip side of it. It's, it's these types of things that are to It's winning your individual battle. Um, but the frustrating thing for me is I know what I've got in that dressing room. I know what qualities we've got. I just need them to believe in themselves more and, and have that little bit of self-pride that Everything matters, whether it's a pass, whether it's a, a clearance, whether it's someone moving, talking. Have the self-pride that you, you you don't want to be on the wrong end of what's happened today. Because even speaking to Jamie after the game there, it's, it's never a 3-0. It, it's not a 3-0 game, but it is. Because yeah. they've put the ball in the back of the net three times. We haven't. We've had enough chances to score three or more goals. So that's where we are. It, it, it's a 3-0 game. We haven't been good enough in front of their goal. doesn't matter what happens in the middle of the pitch what happened in the boxes and in their box we weren't good enough and in our box we weren't good enough simple fact Danny thanks for facing up to the music we go again on Saturday Cheers, Steve.